This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University, and today I wanted to make a video to wish Bitcoin a happy 15th birthday. It's been an amazing couple of years for Bitcoin. Bitcoin now trading at a market cap of over $800 billion, far, far ahead of all of its supposed rivals. Bitcoin transferred about $1.4 trillion worth of value in 2023, and its hash rate went up from very, very high levels to even higher, le higher levels, going up 100%, approximately from 256 exahash per second to 517 exahash per second, easily making it the most powerful computer network and the most important computer network in the world. Some people date the birthday of Bitcoin to October 31st, Halloween 2008, when Satoshi published the Bitcoin white paper online and sent out an email when he publishes to the crypto cryptography mailing list. I'll put a link in the description notes to the Bitcoin white paper so you can take another look at it. But a lot of people forget that the actual first block was mined or posted on January 3rd of 2009. This is the Genesis block, which used to be labeled as block number one. I believe it's labeled as block number zero now has been the convention. But we can see here the timestamp was mined on January 3rd, 2009 and the minor subsidy, the minor reward was 50 Bitcoin. Now, what a lot of people know about the Genesis block is that Satoshi embedded a very important newspaper headline from the Times, Chancellor on the brink of second bailout for banks. And there's been some question, why does Satoshi choose to embed this particular newspaper headline into the Genesis block, into the first block of the blockchain? I think there are two main reasons. Number one, to demonstrate that this block could not have been created before January 3rd, 2009. In other words, it did not predate that headline. There's no way they would have known uh, You know what a newspaper headline is before it's going to be published. And this demonstrates as well that there was no pre-mine to Bitcoin, which is very, very important, especially when you compare it to all the scammy cryptocurrencies out there. The second reason that Satoshi chose to embed this particular headline, I believe, was to send a message about why he created Bitcoin as an all encompassing alternative to the fragile fiat system that was falling apart during the great financial crisis in late 2008 and early 2009. If you're enjoying this video so far, I just ask you to help out the channel by subscribing, liking, leaving a comment, suggestion for a future topic or question, and also sharing this video with a friend or family member who might find it useful. So Satoshi did not set out to create just another PayPal. This headline lets us know the context for this. And this is one thing that Bcashers these Bcash or fundamentalists always cite. They cite the title of the white paper, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, and they conveniently at the same time forget to mention Satoshi's many references to central banks and why good money also needs to be a good store of value as well as a medium of exchange. This is a post by Satoshi on February 11th, 2009, the famous saying, the root problem with conventional currency is all the trust that's required to make it work. The central bank must be trusted not to debase the currency, but the history of fiat currencies is full of breaches of that trust. And that's why Satoshi gave Bitcoin an independent monetary policy. That's why Satoshi had the humility to disappear and not become the central banker for Bitcoin. And so Satoshi was very aware, aware of the problems with fiat as a store of value. So this is a huge part of Bitcoin as well. I thought it'd be interesting to point out too how you can read this embedded message in the Genesis block. If you just go to any block explorer, this is the Blockstream Explorer, and you go to the Genesis block, block number zero, and you scroll down, you will find in the Coinbase, which is where the minor reward is normally posted, you'll find this script this uh, hexadecimal script, and you can basically select it all the way from 54 to 73, and then go on Google, type in hex decoder, and you can use any of these. I believe I'm using Crypti. You paste in the hexadecimal format, and it will spit out the text, the Times, uh, January 3rd, 2009, Chancellor on the brink of second bailout for banks. Another fun fact, the 50 Bitcoin reward in the Genesis block is technically unspendable as well. It doesn't really matter anyway, since none of the Bitcoin presumably mined by Satoshi have ever moved, been sent, or spent. By contrast, Vitalik has been dumping his ETH on his followers for years and years and years. Satoshi never dumped. He just gave an amazing gift to the world and then humbly departed the project. And this is one of the things that really distinguishes Bitcoin from cryptocurrencies that have living founders and living roadmaps. Also, unlike Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies, other ship coins or altcoins, Bitcoin was not born with a price. It had zero monetary value really until Laszlo exchanged 10,000 Bitcoin for two Papa John pizzas 
on May 22nd, 2010. So the monetization of Bitcoin was spontaneous. It took place over many years. It was slow and organic. It was not engineered by bankers or venture capitalists or other crypto grifters with their initial token allocations for insiders. As we can see here, the red or pink shows what insiders gave themselves out of a project. And this is not how you create a neutral currency. I would say that the Genesis block and the beginning of the Bitcoin network on January 3rd, 2009, really is a monetary declaration of independence for the 21st century. Satoshi saying, we refuse to accept the funny money of our fiat overlords and proposing an alternative. The Genesis block is the shot heard around the world in the revolution against central banks because Bitcoin is ethical money for 8 billion people. This is something that central bankers have never been able to provide. They've been able to enrich themselves and their cronies, but they've never been able to provide ethical money for 8 billion people. Ethical money like Bitcoin that can't be confiscated by politicians or debased by central bankers. And Bitcoin really is this monetary foundation upon which we and our children and grandchildren will rebuild human civilization. January 3rd is also known in the Bitcoin community as quote unquote proof of keys day. This was started by an early and one solid Bitcoiner named Trace Mayer, who subsequently destroyed his reputation by shelling ship coins, unfortunately. Proof of keys day is a time to check your self custody setup. It's just a reminder, an annual reminder to do this, though you should really be doing this probably weekly or monthly. It's a time to check your self custody setup and make sure that you backed up your hardware wallet with 12 or 24 word recovery seeds, and also know how to use it to reconstitute your Bitcoin holdings. Proof of Keys is also a reminder to take your Bitcoin off the exchanges, take it off of Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, Swan, River, etc., and move it to our hardware wallet like the Blockstream Jade or the Cold Card so that you can control your own private keys and store and move your Bitcoin without getting rugged or needing to ask someone else's opinion or permission in order to move your Bitcoin. So this is really the history of January 3rd and the promise of January 3rd as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.